Hi, I'm George Northwood. Today I'm at home in isolation, aren't we all? I'm gonna be doing today what a lot of you need. I'm gonna be giving myself a haircut. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do a short back and sides. It's great for kids, great for adults, men, women. It's really simple, I'm gonna make it really easy. You're not gonna need much. You need a pair of clippers, with some braids attached would be great. You're gonna need a comb, any comb will do, and scissors, whatever you can find. The sharpest, best scissors you've got. Let's do it. Right guys, we're gonna give you a short back and sides. Now, this is kind of a classic, basic hairdressing technique. I'm not gonna teach any of you to be proper hairdressers, but we've gotta make the best of what we've got. So, most haircuts have like some form of short back and sides. So, basically means that you know, guys that have shorter back and sides that gradually go from short to long, and then they have it slightly longer on top. You can see, I always know when I'm desperate for haircut, because when I do this, look, I look a bit like a mad professor. Like it gets, and, and for me, these hairs here get a little bit wiry. So for me, I know I need a haircut when this starts getting bushy, my head looks round and I need like sculpting. So, it's really straightforward. I'll go through it step by step. Obviously, if you wanna, I don't wear mine very long on top. I like mine to look, I like a little bit more length on top, but I like the sides and back shorter. You can leave the top even longer. If you have like really long hair on top, a lot of people now wear undercuts. So what you could do is you could clip, take this, if the top is long, take the top and tie it in a little knot on top or clip it out of the way. First thing you need is the clippers. Most clippers come with grades one to four, so, there's grade number four, three, two, and one. Most clippers you'll buy will come with four grades. There is a five, six, seven, and eight, but I don't think we should bother with that. Let's just do grades one to four. Any clipper you'll order. Wild clippers are really good. They're classic, timeless. They come with the four grades. Easy. Okay, so I've got my clippers. I'm gonna start with a grade four. I like my hair quite short. I'm gonna put a grade four. A lot of them come with this kind of attachable, not all of them do, but they come with this kind of lever to make it shorter or longer. I think I'm gonna go, let's go on the shorter one. It doesn't really matter. Don't, don't get too bogged down with this. Just have your clippers, put grade four on. So grade four clips on nicely like that. So it's, now it's not, test it, because if it comes off mid flow, you're gonna take a chunk out of your hair. Not your head, your hair, which is fine, it grows. So it's on, it's not gonna move. So, Cripper, grade four. Let's do it. I'm gonna start, say, here. And it, it, it kind of pays to look away a little bit. So if I look away, it just means that I can concentrate because everything's back to front in the mirror. So, bear in mind, guys, I've actually never done this on myself before. So I'm also new to this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work up the hair shaft and as I go up, I'm gonna slowly pull it away from the head. So I'm going, I'm going up the hair and then I'm pulling it away like that. So I'm going like that and I'm way like that. Let's try this side. Now it's not taking much off because my hair was short anyway. So I'm just gonna go up and as long as towards the top, I come away from the head like, like that mode, I'm gonna be fine this side so now I'm getting a bit of a pro at it and this is a first for me guys now the hard bit is going to be the back now none of us can take but this is great if you're doing it on someone else it's going to be so much easier but a lot of people like me you're at home alone you've got to kind of get through this so and I feel so much better when I've cut my hair so I'm now going to cut the back of my head but I'm gonna feel my way around it. We know what we need to do. We need to go up and pull away, up and pull away. You can't really go that wrong with this, guys. So don't be afraid. Remember, if you've got long hair on top, you've clipped it out of the way. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna feel my way around this, which actually is quite easy because it's actually very hard to do this, like I say, and look in the mirror. So I'm just gonna work up my head doing the bottom bit, coming to the top of my head. I'm 
I'm actually thinking, why have I never done this on myself? It's so, it's actually quite easy, I suppose, because I have a salon. Not that I can ever get an appointment in my own salon. Team GM. So guys, I'm just kind of working the way around the top. I know I haven't done this side so much now. You see, I'm just kind of, as I get to the top, I'm pulling it away. It's actually really quite easy. I'm putting myself out of business. So guys, I'm using a, the, all the technology going. I've got a laptop as my mirror, and then I'm using this phone to show the back of my head. You can see? So that's my way of checking. Pretty good. You know, you can just begin to see. So if you do want to check the back, it can't, it's kind of foolproof. Not much can go that wrong. Or actually, another tip, take a picture. Take a picture and you can really see the back. So, I'm just gonna quick, it looks pretty good, I'm quite chuffed. Again, I'm not looking at the mirror, I'm just going round. You see, I've just gone around the whole sort of horseshoe of the head and done it with a grade four. Looking better already, guys. You can tell there that it's a little bit, needs a bit of blending. There's like a line of hair there, if you can see it. I mean, I'm going to take that out at the end, which I'll come on to. Okay, so we've got like our first short back and sides, grade four. Next thing we do, Grade three, we go down a grade. So we're going down one now. And the, the key is now is that I'm gonna do the same thing again, but I'm not gonna go quite as high as I did with four because four is longer. And as it goes down, we want it to get shorter because that's the thing. A short back and sides is like when it starts really short and gets gradually longer to the top. And that's a classical like short back and sides. So I've got my grade three on. I'm gonna do exactly the same thing that I did before, but I'm not gonna go as high as I did before. With the grade four, I went up to sort of, the bit that you clipped up the top, the sort of horseshoe, I went up to like here. With the grade three, I'm gonna go up to like maybe here. And then again, I'm gonna do that technique of like, I've got tiny ears, but they need to get out of the way, like that. And not much will come off, but this really is, this is the blending. So you've gone over with one length, four, and then you're gonna go over with length three. And then guess what you're gonna do next, guys? You're gonna go with grade two, aren't you? So then I'm gonna come around to this side. I already, for me, I haven't even blended the top in, but look, can you see, I just think I look I look sharper. Got more of a bone structure, I look more together, I just feel like, feel like a different person already. Okay, so that's grade three. I think it's pretty good. So, you're gonna get to see something that I can't. You can see the back of the head properly. So can you see, like, you should start, I've done grade four up to here, then I've done grade three up to here. Now I'm gonna do grade two up to like just there. Okay, so grade two. Um, on it goes. Now, grade two, really this is quite the important bit. Can you see like now these are looking a bit long and they need blending in a bit at the side. So really grade two is just literally to do this little bit at the bottom, because grade two, beware, does get a bit short, so you're getting a bit more, slightly more dangered waters with this, but nothing to worry about. Okay, so, I'm gonna do... And then I'm just gonna literally, yeah, I'm not going up very high with this one. Literally, just a little bit up. So you remember with, you remember guys, with grade four I went to here, or you've got your, your hair tied up, grade four I went to here, grade three I went to here, and grade two I'm just doing a little bit at the bottom. It's really nice because you can feel all, 
this is getting rid of all that kind of hairline hair at the bottom and it's quite important to go like it I'm going in at slightly different angles just because a good tip for you is everyone's hairline grows a bit kind of weird oh, that feels so nice there oh like everyone's hair grows at like weird angles at their hairline a lot of people do mine certainly does um i inherited our family's hairline so literally i'm going to go in at different angles because hair grows in different directions okay side two The clippers don't work if you go the way the hair grows. You have to go against the hair. So because the hair grows down, it works if you get what I mean. I'm being very thorough, but I think it's because I'm actually just quite enjoying this. It's the most fun I've had since in isolation. That's made such a big difference because it's made it like really, you know, can you see it's like really kind of, he says without even looking, it could be a disaster. Let's have a look. Um, getting my camera out. It's really nice. It's really blended quite well. I'm happy with that. Tell me, what do we think, guys? Good? Okay, so now, got the short back aside. So what you could now do is if you'd clip that top bit up, which we said before, you could now let that out and let that flop off. So you know this kind of trendy haircut that everyone's got where the top just kind of flops and you have a top knot and it's just disconnected so you could now take the top off and just leave it flopping over if you want like floppy hair um me i'm gonna trim the top just because the top i've short back and side slightly longer on top so it looks quite good as it is but i'm just gonna kind of with the scissors This is actually what's quite hard on yourself. So I'm gonna pull it up. And I'm just gonna kind of almost just cut it a bit. I'm not gonna get this perfect. Very hard to do this on yourself. And I'm just gonna work back through the hair and just kind of take off the ends a little bit. It's definitely better if you look away, guys. Definitely doesn't work. But then you've got to be careful not to cut your fingers. But these are really sharp scissors, so. See, and as I comb it up, I can kind of see that it looks all right. I mean, I'll come to this side now. You see there's a bit there that needs to. So when you learn to haircut, you literally go in with your, you go in, you go with your fingers, you lift it up from the head, you see what's, you see the excess and you just cut it there. I mean, I don't need too much off on top, but you know, I, I do think, particularly this bit, guys, it's, if you just, if I was doing it on someone else, I would just be pulling it up and you know, pulling the hair up and cutting across. It's, it is, it's very hard to do it on yourself. But the one thing that is important is well, when you do the first section, you pull it up, you cut it to the length that you want. You then push it back to the next section and you follow the guideline from the first. So, you know, you cut the first length, the length you want, then you take a second section and you pull it back and you cut the next bit to the same length as the first and you work back in the head. You should take the first section, then you take half of the first section and a new section behind it then half of that and so what you're doing is you're cutting one one length then you're going to the next bit and cutting it the next length the same length so it's all then one length and then you kind of go to, you follow the, sh the side the shape of the head is round so then you go sort of through the back of the front the top of the head and then you go down through the side if you do little and often then you doesn't it matter like you know I can't get a perfect result it's quite hard to do on myself but I'm quite happy with it. What I'm more bothered about is the sides blending. So if I come to this side here, I'm just going to kind of, where I said earlier, there was that kind of step, if you know what I mean. A good tip is, 
um, I don't know if any of you, like a lot of you, if you can get hold of like thinning scissors, they're quite good. These are called texturizing scissors and we use them as hairdressers and as you can see, they kind of take off half of the hair and they leave half of it behind. So it kind of removes half. Don't go into like, don't go into thick long hair with these because you can really wreck it. But for someone like me, if I look at my hair now and I can see like it's a bit bushy either side, I'll just kind of go in with these a little bit. And where that lumpy bit is, it kind of takes away some of the, you know, and then it's a bit chunky there. Can you see, you might not be able to see it, but it's like, it's quite chunky. So I'm just gonna go in. And that way I'm just kind of, if you're doing it on yourself, it's just a good way of like, the other thing you could do if you don't have like texturizing scissors, is you could probably just like lift the hair and sort of just cut into it a bit. Because all you're trying to do is make the, the top blend with the sides. We're not, we're not after a perfect job. We, we can't go to the salon. But you can see already now, I've almost got like a bit of a, a cool short back and sides haircut going on. But what do you think guys? I hope that was useful. Um, yeah, send me pictures of what you do. I want to see. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, ring the bell, comment below. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. There's a buzz cut coming. I'm going to buzz cut my hair.